All right, y'all, welcome back. This is Peanut Facts. You got myself, Hollywood, on here with my boy, Soul Toast, man. How you feeling today, bro? Man, I'm feeling great. Feeling fantastic. Feeling, well, fantastic. I'm good. <laughs> you're, trying, you're trying to get on I'm with it. I'm trying to think of something else, but two's good. Which one is it, man? Which one is it? But hey, look, <laughs> I know it's been a while, y'all. We haven't done any Peanut Facts in a while, but look, about to hit this thing running again. We'll get back more consistent with it, we promise. But hey, let's go ahead and hit it right now. NBA Finals, all right? The Bucks ended up winning 4-2, one in the six, after the Phoenix Suns started out with a 2-0 lead. So in some, in some ways, I'm kind of disappointed that Chris Paul did not get his ring. He's still Hall of Famer regardless. Uh, yep. But big ups to Giannis for staying with the team that drafted him. And then he finally trusted the process, and they actually got to a championship. I know trust the process belongs to the 76ers, but them motherfuckers got problems, God damn it. Yeah, that's they, all, they need that's to put their trust in something one else. Exactly. Hey, let's go in and hit it, man. Like, so you've seen the finals. Yep. What are you who are you more disappointed in? Are you are you more disappointed in the fact that the Suns cannot pull it through? Or are you just happy the fact that Giannis was able to walk away with the title? So since I'm not a real fan of either team, but I am f- fans of both teams in a way that they you know aren't the super teams and all that and they aren't the lakers so i'm 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 always good when that's the case um i'm disappointed i'm a little disappointed that cp3 didn't get a ring but i mean he i don't want to put this all on him but the story of his career is he's a great point guard probably one of the best leaders point guard but in the playoffs he just doesn't get it done um Kind of like a Charles Barkley and mm. being up 2-0 and being up 3-1 in series and then losing, that's what he's going to be remembered for, sadly. I'm glad Giannis got it. Uh, he, you know, made a speech about doing it without a super team, saying that that's the easy way. I think that's – you may not agree at the moment the way your team is constructed, but I think that's good for the NBA uh, if they can keep winning. If it's a one – time thing then it's not going to do much just like when the Raptors won it once uh yeah teams weren't like oh we don't need to go get a super team because right after that it was back to the same stuff exactly. so so I'm I'm happy that Giannis got a ring um I didn't expect the Bucks to really get it they seem out of all the coaches that were left in the last four teams I I thought coach Bud was the worst just the way he made adjustments it's it didn't seem like he knew what he was doing, uh, at least compared to Monty Williams and even Ty Lue, who I thought did great with the injuries he had and the sure. adjustments he made. Sure. But I'm happy overall. You know what? Like, I'm looking at this. And like, like you said, like, we are my team is set up. For those of y'all who don't know, I am a Brooklyn Nets fan, hardcore. I was a Brooklyn Nets fan before Katie and before Kyrie, before James Harden. I've been a long, long time fan. But yeah, the way the team set up, you know, they're built to win. Now the Bucks, I will say the Bucks were lucky through the playoffs. Kyrie went down. That kind of spilled, you know, Bucks are going to the next round. Because you just had KD going over there. Now before Kyrie went down, Kyrie was, they were making a comeback already in that game. And they were going to be up. But Kyrie went down, you got to, I say a 40% James Harden trying to come back, but he just hurt right. more than he helped the team. But the Bucks, they had an easy way in. I hate to say they had an easy way in. That sounds so disrespectful, and I'm not taking away anything from this team. But they had an easy way in with the, with the Brooklyn Nets being hurt, right? And then KD with a, a momentary lapse, not realizing where his foot was <laughs> behind that three-point line after that shot. Foot. That was just a momentary lapse. It happened, and nothing you can do about that. And he he ran out of gas. He ran out of gas and in. But the Bucks did it. I think I'm more I'm more happy at the fact that Chris Middleton actually showed who he was. Like we all had a good. He was an All Star. We knew this. But in the playoffs, in the finals, showed out. Giannis does not win this finals without Chris Middleton. And that's the right. same thing I say when LeBron won with Cleveland. He does not win that championship without Kyrie. We say, oh, there's no super team. There shouldn't be any super teams, but you should have a good complimentary piece to your star, and they had that. Chris Middleton was outrageous. Like, there are some of my favorite players who 
operate so well in the mid range game. Like KD operates right. phenomenal mid range game. Kyrie has a great mid range game. Chris Middleton is another one of those guys who has a great mid range game. He's six seven, six eight on a good day. If he pulls up, he has it. Right. It reminds me of a you know how Sean Livingston. He was yeah. not he was not a great three point shooter, anything like that. But he will back you down and just take a mid range shot and make it because that's his right. Spot. Yeah. Giannis got all the help he needed. You know what I mean? So respect to them for winning. Chris Paul, you said that, uh, you know, this will, you know, just tell his tale in the playoffs. Like, he can never get it done in the playoffs. Right. And he's been on some stacked teams. So you have the Clippers he was on, the, the Rockets he was on. You know what I mean? And now you have the Suns. Now, would I want to blame Chris Paul fully for this one? I don't. I don't want to blame Chris Paul fully for this one. Because even at his age and, you know, what he does, he right. did what he could do. Yeah. I mean, he still was only six feet tall. Yeah, I mean, yeah, and it, his body isn't used to being out this long. It's not. So, My blame goes to DeAndre. Yeah. Yes, he's young. Yes, he he has to realize that he's a seven-foot-one big man. All right? A seven-foot-one big man. But he was looking like he couldn't rebound a single basketball except after those, after those first maybe three, four games. I'll say after the first three games. The Bucks dominated, dominated the offensive class. Yeah. They dominated. They kept getting second chance opportunities. Pat, Pat Cottington, I probably said his name wrong. He had games where he had over six rebounds. Consistently. Right. He should not be coming in there at six five, grabbing rebounds when DeAndre Aiken's right there. There was no effort on his part. No effort. I don't know what happened to them, but that's my reason for why they lost. They could not get any any effort from their enforcer when they're big men. At 7-1, he should have been altering shots, anything. Like Drew Holiday, he sucked in the finals. I would say he sucked in the finals. He had games, right. he, was like, he was like 2 for 12, man. 2 for 12. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, 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 I figured they said, look, Giannis, Middleton, y'all going to score in Holiday. You're gonna be our premier perimeter defender. Oh, um, yeah, he did a great job. Yeah, he did a great job, and I think Devin Devin Booker is gonna do nothing to get better. He needs to understand he can't continue to play and hope for a foul. It's like he plays for a foul. They want to call him next Kobe Bryant. Like I'm, I'm saying, don't disrespect Kobe like that. So look, this is no disrespect. He's not there yet. <laughs> to look, Harden plays like that. Mm -hmm. Paul Pierce used to play like that. You got to get to a certain level. He's hey, not there yet. You, you gotta want a ball, man. And look, and that's and this is why I get so much that Kyrie, he's not Kobe Bryant either, but he knows what a mama mentality is. Don't right. be trying, don't be trying to play for a foul. Actually try to get your bucket. Work it. Right. You know what I mean? Kobe, Kobe got to his spots. He always played for the shot. He didn't play for the foul, he played for the shot. Right. Pretty much all the time. If he knew, okay, I got a defender right here, I'm gonna get him to right here to the corner, top of the key. I'm gonna get him, back him down, turn around, mid range. That was his game. He knew what to do to get buckets for his team. Right. And some and sometimes in that in that series, man, I thought that Devin Booker wasn't really, you know, trying to just hit a shot and try to get back down there, get a stop, and come back in another shot. I felt like he was trying to drive as deep as he could to in the paint and try to get a foul. That works sometimes. Like you can get easy free buckets, slow the clock down. But sometimes you can't do that. And you have to have the mentality to go play. Maybe, maybe right. I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I don't know. It was weird because, uh, look, look, when they were up 2-0, I thought I, I didn't have any faith in the Bucks, So I, I figured maybe six games, but they got swept after that. Yeah. I don't know if it after they tied it up 2-2 two -two, that they trying to – I don't know. A lot went into it because obviously Giannis isn't great at free throw line. So I, I think they kind of try to went that route, but in the final game he started making those shots, um, and John Giannis slowly went into a role that I think he should have been playing, which is a, a traditional center. He doesn't need to be out there popping threes and all that. Oh. Stay in the paint, get them easy shots, get them rebounds, and like that's it. Put up a fifty burger. There you go. And um, like, do you trust Giannis shooting a three pointer? No, he does it. He, it's it's no, expected by big men now. It's not, it's not consistent. Right, it's not. But the fact that 
like I should unless he's setting a pick, he shouldn't be out at three point line at all. Exactly, and that, that's the same thing with Ben Simmons, man. Ben Simmons, they got him playing point guard. I get it, I get it. The guy's a great ball, and he's a good playmaker. All right, cool, but he's still a six ten big man that can't shoot. Right. You want this man near the paint. You know what I mean? He can be a point forward. You know what I mean? But get right. him right there by the block. Like, they did not. Ben, ben Simmons was not done. He was done disservice as soon as he came to the league. Because everybody wanted to be a point guard. Like, oh, he's so phenomenal. as a playmaker, point guard. Like, no. No, you got to see what this man does and what he does well. Can he this right. ball? Yes. Can he defend? Yes. Can he shoot? No. You do not want that guy being your ball handler. Do not want him to be it. Like, let him be a point for it. Let him right. embrace a, I hate to compare, I hate to say this name, but embrace a Draymond Green role. But he's, he's a better shot inside than Draymond Green is. But I say embrace a Draymond Green role, but yeah. as a number two option. Yeah, I, yeah, I see what you Like, for real, like, he, he's great on the fast break. He's not bad around, uh, around the rim. You know what I mean? Right. Hey, you got to play to your strengths, and his strengths is not handling the ball and being out there by the three point line. And your team needs a shot, but you're not the one. Right. Well, he's not going to get better playing for Doc because Doc has one with a point guard who couldn't shoot. And if he, he keeps Ben Simmons, he, he's going to convince himself that, nah, he doesn't need to shoot. But hey, there's trade rooms and all that going around. So who, I think, who knows? I, I think he needs to change the scenery. The, the process hasn't worked. Yeah. Uh, build around uh, Joel Embiid and Tobias Harris and get no, something you, for Ben Simmons. Because I don't say think he's convinced himself he don't need to shoot. <laughs> What's that? You say he convinced himself he don't need to shoot. It convinced him. Yeah, because because like Rondo was what the fourth, fifth option scoring wise. Rondo couldn't shoot when he was when they were first playing. Yeah, Rondo Dude was missing layups at a, at a certain point in his yeah. career. You know, he was just the defending, rebounding, and got his shots when he could. But Rondo I think did exactly what he did well, though, finally. He finally figured yeah. it out. Yeah, but he had three Hall of Famers, you know. True, true. And, but Rondo did set himself apart, and I, I kind of – that's why yeah. he was one of my favorite point guards at that time. Right. Because he was, he was great at passing the ball. I don't yeah. think we realized how good he was because he had teammates that could hit shots like that. Right. But he was really creative with the ball. He was a good leader. In a right. Way. So that was good. Like he got overshadowed because you got Ray Allen, Paul Pierce, KG. Come right. on, man. It's yeah. nothing like you can do about that. But he showed that he was actually a good leader, especially in the playoffs. A lot of people don't remember this game uh, against the Cavaliers. I remember this game because Rondo was playing like he was a a superstar that game. But Braun was scoring. He was like his field goal percentage was super high. But Rondo was like matching him almost. I think Rondo had tripped double at that game. But I'm not. I'm not quite sure but that was to me that was his coming out part saying right. that, okay i can do this ben simmons need to realize that he if he wants to be a leader on the team he needs to embrace a different role he can't right. be a shooter embrace something else be different yeah hey some players like carmelo it takes a long time for them to realize yeah what they can and can't do and it all depends on coaching I, that's why i said i think he needs to change scenery um Lakers, where he uh, is nowhere. Uh, look, I don't look. Okay, so when I suggest players go to the Lakers, it's not good intentions. <laughs> I don't want the Lakers to win. So I think hey, Ben awesome. Simmons, Kimba should go, Gordon Hayward, all these players that constantly get hurt, just go to the Lakers and see how it works out. <laughs> but he definitely needs a change of scenery because Philadelphia, look, if they couldn't get Markel Fultz to shoot, they're not going to get Ben Simmons to shoot well. And now Markel Fultz was like a better player in Orlando. Yeah, hey, chain of scenery and uh, this different environment. True. And, but, but back on to it, uh, Giannis won MVP uh, for the finals. Right. Uh, that part I do not agree with. Yes, he balled out that last game. But Chris Milton, he was the guy. And I hate, like I said, Giannis was not winning without Chris Milton. Chris Milton had some big shots. I mean, some right. big shots. Giannis took over, got it. That's what he does. But Chris Middleton was on a whole nother level. If he wasn't doing what he was doing, that series would be a different story. Right. And Giannis was missing free throws. Who was yeah. who was who was, was bringing him back? Chris Middleton. Chris Middleton was bringing him back. 
And everyone said, oh, well, that's his job. Like, no. No, no, no. You did not expect that. Not Chris Middleton right. to be balling like he was. In my opinion, he wasn't MVP. But, of course, my opinion doesn't matter. I'm just Hollywood, baby. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, opinionated facts. That's what we're here for. That's what we do. All opinions, no facts. Well, a little bit there of that. There you go. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> I, I would have been fine either way, but, look, if, if your star guy gives you a 50 burger, it, it's going to be hard to, to not give him an MVP. Uh, I would have been fine either way because mm-hmm. I've seen some weird MVPs like Andre Iguodala for uh, the Golden State Warriors because when they brought him in the start lineup, he was able to shut down certain plays and all that. But I think, I don't know, I don't, don't want to say I've been down on Giannis, but even now, so... I've been hearing people talk about uh, if this means more than a super team winning a ring or means more than uh, Kevin Durant winning a ring with Golden State or if it's the same level as Dirk uh, doing it. And I personally would put it above a super team winning just because I don't like super teams, but it's not on a level of Dirk. Dirk went up against a super team. Dirk went Mm -hmm. up against... You know, prime LeBron, Wade, and Chris Bosh and company. And, you know, and did Gordon. something no one expected. Mm-hmm. Um, I wouldn't even Dirk put this. Out. Was that? He counted Dirk out, man, right before. Yeah. He even started counting out. Yeah. I, I wouldn't even put this above uh, LeBron winning one for Cleveland. Um, just because the path, like you said, they were lucky. A lot of injuries, but it was a lot of injuries on both sides, uh, East and West. And then they 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 beat a Chris Paul, Devin Booker, Phoenix Suns team. Yeah. Um, so it didn't have that wow factor for me, but I, I'm glad he won it. I'm glad someone else won it. Uh, but look, if Brooklyn and the Lakers are healthy, it's going to be the same thing again. Yeah, if, if Brooklyn and the Lakers are healthy, there's no team. Um, other than that, I, I would give the West this if they have a, a fully healthy Warriors team. Yeah, that'd be only that'd be only team giving the Lakers trouble. But in the right. East, there, there's no team that really is going to stack up against a healthy Brooklyn. And Brooklyn's right. only going to get better because now teams see what they have, and now you know players are going to want to come play. So Brooklyn's only going to get better. Uh, yeah. But know, health, their health is it. Their yeah. health is a problem. Is and James Hart. James Harden starting to get that same moniker as CP3. Well, now see, James Harden was definitely not healthy at the beginning of the season. We know this. <laughs> man, I look, I don't know what to believe. I saw a fat man on that court, but then he got to Brooklyn and he's drinking smoothies and he's cut. So I don't know what I saw over there. But you know, but he hurt himself, I believe, by not trying to uh play and stuff like that with a huge right. skin and just approaching this, the beginning of the season a totally different way. His body was not ready for basketball. In my opinion, his body was not ready for basketball. Right. Kyrie was a uh, he shouldn't have got hurt that game, but if he came down on his foot. There's nothing you can do about that. That's just yeah. accident. Yeah, it happened. KD, KD had his injuries, but that's to be expected. I expect him to be, you know, out for a long period of time, especially coming back from that injury that he had. But he was ball not ready still. So right. we'll see what happens. And we know we're talking about super teams. The Warriors did not have a super team. Not at first. No. Not at first. And people keep they keep they keep tending to forget this. The Warriors had a draft built team. Right. Yeah. That was it. So yeah. give give Giannis his credit. You know, he did it without super team. You know, she got Dirk did it without super team. The Warriors weren't officially a super team until after the finals. After that well, first I, final. I didn't really think they were a super team until they got Durant. Like uh-huh. drafting like, Durant. Like I don't even consider the Spurs a super team, even though mm-hmm. they drafted greatness. They draft, you know, the Admiral, uh Duncan, Parker, Ginobili. At no point I consider them a, a super team because they I like were simple. First. That's a good one. I, Greg Popovich was just that coach. Yeah. He knew, well, he knew the players to bring in, and they each did their job. In the Olympics. Let's not bring that up. You need coach to call K. up Coach K or something. Call Coach K, man. Yeah, Pop ain't getting it done. Pop ain't getting it done. But, you know, but he got all these players with different personalities and stuff like that. Kevin Durant, he got in foul trouble. Well, he ain't going to bring it to the Olympics right now. <laughs> Gotcha. Because that's a whole nother beast, you feel me? <laughs> right. Hey, but that's what we got, man. So the Bucks are the champions. Four and two, won, won, the, won the finals, won that series. 
we'll see what happens next year. But the draft is upcoming pretty damn quick. I did not expect it to come this quick. I just right? realized, I just realized like, oh man, the draft is like Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> As well. That, that's when I have to draft. But we'll see what happens, man. I'm looking, I'm expecting some big trades, I'm expecting things to happen, who's on the move, who's not on the move. Those are things that we can cover. Uh, so more than likely, you guys are going to see another opinionated facts this week, probably on Friday. But we'll see what happens. Just stay tuned. So this is what we got here. Finals. Bucks. Yes, sir. Fuck them, but let's go. <laughs> toe, toe, toe. Congrats to the Bucks. Thank you for it not being the Lakers. Thank God. <laughs> we out.